All right, so in the next part, I'm gonna show you how to easily create designs that we can then put on our products that we are selling on our store. In print on demand, the design part is actually quite important because it's what makes your products unique and what sets you apart from other stores. And this is the reason why people are buying your products in the first place. So you definitely wanna put some effort into your designs. Now that doesn't mean you have to be a great designer because nowadays there are tons of tools that can make it very easy for us to make great designs. However, the idea for the design is really what makes all the difference. People buy because of emotion. So what we want to do is tap into those emotions that already exist within our niche. So for example, take this store, which is focused on the vegan niche. The target customer here are people who are passionate about being vegan and they want to communicate their passion through the clothes that they wear. And as you can see, those designs aren't complicated to make. You don't have to be a great designer to create these designs. But you do have to understand the culture of veganism so you know exactly what resonates with somebody who is in that niche. So again, the key to success with print on demand is to focus on a passionate niche and make sure you understand the culture of that niche. So keeping that in mind, let's look at how we can get some inspiration for designs in specific niches and then how to create those designs. So a great place to start and get some inspiration for designs is gonna be Pinterest.com. So for example, if I were to create a store for the vegan niche, I would simply come to Pinterest and type in vegan t-shirt design and see what comes up. And here, as you can see, there are already tons of different examples of t-shirt designs that are working within this niche. So here, for example, powered by plants or vegan life is totally awesome. So as you can see, those designs, they don't really take a lot of design skill as you can see in a moment here when I show you how to create those designs, but they do work very well because people can resonate with whatever is on these uh, t-shirts. Now you don't need to go with t-shirts, you can use um, these designs also on other things like mugs for example, or even shower curtains or pillow covers or stuff like that. Um, you definitely don't wanna just copy everything that you find here, but what you can do for example, is just take the slogan uh, Team Herbivore and then just create a different design with that specific slogan. So you wanna take some inspiration, but you don't wanna just straight copy these designs because that will just lead to problems later on. Now for the store that I'm gonna create in this video, I've decided to go into the dog niche. So the target uh, customer is gonna be people who are interested in dogs, who are very passionate about dogs, and maybe who even own a dog, so dog owners. So to get some design ideas here, I would just type in, um, for example, dog owner uh, t-shirt design owner t-shirt design and then we can see what comes up so here uh, we can see a lot of uh, slogans as well like think positive with p-o-w or dogs are my favorite people um, there's no dog like a rescue dog and just things that um, resonate with um, people who are interested in dogs so again i would just take these slogans and then create my own design uh, with a, a tool that i'm going to show you now so the tool that I recommend to use for creating your designs if you are not a professional designer is to use canva.com. You probably have heard about this website before. This is like an all-in-one design tool that is browser-based. So I'm gonna leave a link to this one down below in the description as well, where you can sign up. This is actually free, so you can use it for free. I would recommend you get uh, the, the paid version. I think it's like $10 a month or, or month or something, because then you can download your designs as a PNG file with a transparent background. So this is something I would definitely invest in. Um, and before we're gonna create our first design, we're gonna have to check what the dimensions are that we need to have for our designs. So we wanna come back to our um, Printful account and whatever product you have, there's gonna be guidelines. So here on the left side, we wanna click on product info, pricing and guidelines. And then we're gonna click on print file templates and here we can see the dimensions for all the places we can print our design on. So for example, if you wanna print our design on the outside label, we would have to use this, uh, these dimensions right here. So this would be a square. If we wanna print on the front or the back side of the t-shirt, then we're gonna use these dimensions right here. So let's say we wanna print our design to the front of the t-shirt, 
what we would simply do is just copy these dimensions. Let's start with this one. Go back to Canva. And then when we click on create a design here at the top, we're going to go to custom size. And then we're going to um, put in the dimensions here. Now you want to make sure that we change the pixels to centimeters because this is the, the dimension that is displayed on Printful. I'm going to paste the width in right here. Then I'm going to copy the height as well. I'm going to paste them in right here. And then we just click on create new design. And that will take us inside of the Canva editor where we can start creating our designs. Now you're going to notice that using Canva is very intuitive, very straightforward and actually quite easy to do because they have already tons of different pre-made design templates that you can start from and then just do some adjustments to make it fit to your idea. So let's say, for example, we want to use some text on our design. We're just going to click on text right here and then we can see some different font combinations that we can use. Uh, for our design. So for example, let's take uh, this one right here. Then when we click on it, it will automatically import it into the canvas here. We can just drag it around. We can change uh, the colors here at the top. We can also just double click and uh, just change the text like this. So as you can see, very easy to use. And they also have tons of different uh, elements. So when we go to elements right here, we can just type in anything that we want. So for example, let's type in uh, yoga, for example. And then we have tons of different elements that we can use for yoga uh, as well. So let's say yogi like this. We can change the color here at the top. Let's change this to, let's use uh, this color here. And just like that, we have created a design that we can now maybe put on uh, our products and advertise uh, using Facebook or TikTok. So as you can see, it's very easy and straightforward. So now I want to quickly show you how I would create my first design for the store I'm going to create in this video, which is in the dog niche. So let's go back to Pinterest where we have some slogans that we can use for our designs. Let's just take, for example, this one, Think Positive. So I would just use this slogan, go back to Canva and then just put the text here in the canvas. So I'm going to go to text. Um, I'm going to simply add a heading. I'm not going to use any of these fonts here for now at the bottom. Just going to add a heading and I'm going to type in think. Then I'm going to duplicate this one by clicking on the duplicate icon, drag this down and then type in positive. So this is going to be the slogan that I'm going to use, be using for this design. Then I'm going to make everything uh, uppercase by clicking here, this one as well. And then I want to change the font. I think this lo looks a bit too boring. So I'm going to click on uh, this uh, text. I'm going to go to the font selection and I'm going to use uh, this one right here. Um, I found this one before. I think it looks very playful, very cool. Um, then I'm going to do the same thing here for the positive. And then I also want to add a, an element. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to type in um, paw because I uh, think positive obviously is a play on the word paw. Um, so I'm going to go to paw or dog paw even. And then I'm going to see what's available. So here uh, Canva or has a lot of um, paid uh, elements. So you have to be on a paid plan to use these elements. For example, this one right here where it says pro. But they also have a lot of free elements. For example, this one here is free that you could use. Um, I'm going to use a different one. So I found one before that I want to use. OK, so here I found it. It was this one right here that I want to use for this, uh, this design. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the text here uh, round. So I'm going to go to effects and then I'm going to click on curve here at the bottom. And then I'm going to just drag this to make it a bit larger and I'm going to change the curve. Uh, maybe let's do 80. That's fine. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Go to effects curve and then I'm going to do a negative curve here. Let's do minus uh, 20 or let's do minus 35, something like this. And then obviously I want to make sure this is all um, the right size. I'm going to just drag this out a bit kind of like this. OK, so now I'm also going to change some of the colors. So I'm just going to click on the element. I'm going to change from this red to something a bit less um, saturated. Maybe take this one right here and then we can also change the pause here. Let's make this black like this. 
And then just to make it very clear, I'm also going to change the paw, uh, just this part of the word to the same color as the heart. So I'm going to just going to do it like this. And there we go. So this is going to be my finished design that I'm going to test uh, on my products. Now, because this text is black, this design wouldn't work on a black or dark blue t-shirt, for example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this design by clicking on duplicate page, and then I'm gonna change the colors to make it also work on dark colored products. So that, then I would just click on uh, the text and change the color to let's say white here as well, just this part, change it to white, and then also the pause here, change it to white. And then I just click on the background of the entire design and I'm gonna click on background color and make this black. So here we have two different uh, versions. We have one for light uh, background color products and also dark background color products. So now I did create a couple of more designs that I'm gonna put on some products and add to my store just so we have some more uh, stuff to work with here for our example store. Now, once the design is finished, what we want to do is click on share here at the top right. And then we want to click on download. Here we want to download it as a PNG file with a transparent background. So we want to tick transparent background here. Now, this is a feature that is only available for the paid version of Canva. This is why I recommend to use the paid version. And also you, you get a lot more uh, elements that you can use for your designs. So that's definitely uh, money well invested if you're going to do print on demand. Then I'm going to click on a download and that will just download each file uh, as a PNG file. 